Welcome to the channel. So the reason why I am making this video today is because the MDX is a very new model. Just like the Honda Aircraft, this is one of its first models. And so with that being said, you know that there are some quirks with the 2022 MDX. So the one I wanna to bring to light is the clunking or clicking sound while turning the steering wheel. Now, I wanna say that uh, the reason why I purchased the 2022 MDX was because the steering feel was a different feel. It was uh, improved, it felt like a, a BMW. It really had a, a riding on rails type of feel. Uh, the one thing that I didn't like was that shortly after purchasing, uh, the steering started making this clinking or clunking noise. Now, in this process of getting it fixed, uh, the dealership had replaced an axle and that didn't work. Or if they couldn't get the part, uh, it was put back. Now, I can't prove that, but it didn't fix the issue. and. In the video, you can see that it continued on. Um, I've been driving it for over a year, so I don't see that it's an issue. Uh, I'm still continuing to drive it today. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it, and you will see the clunking or clicking noise that I hear currently. Okay, go ahead and go. Okay, just go forward. It's all clear. Hey, right turn. Test with steering wheel left. It's in reverse. Nothing. Even with the brake, no clicking. Drive. No clicking. All the way to the right. Reverse. It's clear all the way to the right. Okay, and now drive. Ready? Two click.
Okay, so I wanted to add in this video here to just show you what a typical axle looks like. So this is the inner uh, portion of the axle that would probably head towards the transmission. And uh, here he's just showing the needle bearings and what it looks like when you take the boot off. So we could have possibly a typical one like this, or uh, we can move to the outer one that's more towards the wheel and hub, which he's about to show here, uh, which you could see even in my video, which is able to rotate back and forth as you turn the, the wheel steering wheel left and right. So it's very possible that the design for these axles uh, need improvement. Uh, there could be some sort of tolerances that are incorrect that uh, Honda just hasn't had time to look at, but it's very possible they're even using a previous generation's axle to reach that far end. So leave your comment down below. Do you have that clunk? Do you think it's an axle? Do you think it's the transmission, the first gear, second gear? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments.